So what are we doing today is section what? C. C. Final. The last one. Last of sections. Okay. This is the shortest one. If other two, section A, if I'm not mistaken, 35 components yes, in the units, so. yeah, <laughs> section D, 32, and this one will be less than 30. So, easy, 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 okay? Uh, do you guys remember, I told you that in the last... All this nice problem that's going back and forth. What is the difference on the way how your test, how your presentation is built? What is the difference between, let's say, section B and section C? Couplings. We're doing couplings first for the C. Okay, let's start from this. Okay, let's do it like that. Room. I'll put those X again. In case of section A, so what we do first? Section A itself, right? Section A. What's going to be next? B. Don't, don't observe me, please. <laughs> After section A, what we do? Coupling. Coupling. And after coupling, it's the mandatory. Mandatory, yeah. Well, coupling is mandatory itself, but uh, I mean, it will be in cap and air brakes. And air brakes, exactly. If it's section B, it's the same, right? So yeah, same. A or B is the same. For the section C, what do we do? Coupling. We do the coupling first. Then C and then mandatory. Okay, and now, Philly, what we do for section if you pull car D? The whole track. The whole track, okay. So, you're doing A, right? You're doing B. Then you do. Coupling. After coupling, you do C and then mandatory. I am C, A, B. Okay? Please, questions. Don't get confused. Okay? Don't get confused. This is the order, and you are the one who will run it. You cannot ask examiner, could you please, uh, or do you want me to do whatever is next? Coupling now? No. Most of them will say no, you're going home because you disqualified. Mm -hmm. You need to listen what I just read to you. And they're reading your instructions. Five seconds, everything that I try to repeat you like <laughs> 15 hours in a row. <laughs> they will read in 15 seconds. And yeah, they will say, Okay, you need to do your section, which will the one that you just pull pick the card, then you will need to do the coupling in the in cap and brakes, and that will conclude your pretty. Do you have any questions? No? Okay, let's start with that cards. Boom. What we do once we pull the card? So right, we're placing chunks. <laughs> okay, questions about it. Okay, sorry. Yes sir. As you said, uh, when you pull the card A, uh -huh. you do first, you know, A, then coupling. Yep. In the section A, if we are explaining the section A, we, we, do we do couplings? How do we do? Because we never did. What do you mean? You do A. Yes. Remember the day before yesterday we did A. So you do A, everything that related to A. So okay, After you finish A, that concludes A. Now I'm going to perform coupling. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, and you go to the you know, side of the truck, between truck, and then the, the trailer back of the cap and the bulk head of the trailer next to the catwalk and start explaining, right? Okay. You got it? Yeah. That concludes my section A. Now I'm going to perform a copy. Okay. okay. 
Now, for the section A, B and C, we got what? Approach, reals, right? Fender mirror, passenger side, driver side, it's all this stuff. And here, after the um, cooling system and uh, power steering system, we did what? Suspension. Suspension. Yeah, brakes. Brakes. Wheels. And wheels. Okay. On the B, we did side of the truck, right? With tanks, uh, fuel tank, death tank and stuff. Then we did back of the cab with specific stuff like dry shaft, right? Exhaust and frame. Okay? After we did this, we did what? Suspension system, brakes and wheels. And then we did back of the truck. Back of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. shock. What? The shock absorber. Oh, shock absorber is a part of suspension system, of course. It's, it's many components there. It's four components maximum. Three components here, four here, and two on the CF. On our trailers, on the specific trailers. For the section C, you're doing front of the trailer, you're doing side of the trailer. Okay, with all these landing gears, with uh, airlines, uh, electrical cables, all that stuff, crank handle, release arms, all, all what we do from this side. And then guess what? All the stuff. And instead of back of the vehicle, it will be back of trailer. Yeah. So the core is the same. So lights and the core, the systems, suspension, brake, and wheels, the same. Very little of difference, right? For the um, section A, we don't do the mud flaps, flush joints, we don't do butt spacing. Other than that, it's all the same. Oh, there it is. Um, Darius, could you please put your name on the attendance? Yeah. Okay. So basically 60% of it. In case of section C, since it's like 20 and something components, and what, 16 of them are... So, mostly, or I would say, you already know explanations, it's important to explain and name 60% of section C. Uh, it's a good use. Questions? Oh, I like questions. It's not like Soviet Army, right? <laughs> you ask questions about that. <laughs> Did he serve in Army? What? No. Army? Uh, yeah. Very well. that's, that's cool, right? <laughs> I did. <laughs> For too long, yes. What made me crazy. Okay, so section C. What do we start? Section series. So coupling. Chucks and no. couplings, right? Chucks and then coupling. Coupling. Okay. The first we do. Oh, got those pictures. We standing in front of the bulkhead of the trailer. Bulkhead is that just the main? Yeah, it's a wall, it's front wall of the trailer. Okay. And... Uh, you got it? Yes, I it from. Open it up and see.
Okay. So what we have on the front wall of the trailer? Okay. Electrical connectors and ear and dicks. Okay. Do we need to explain glove hands or cable? No. No. We just did it when we did cable. Right? For trailer, we're explaining everything that related to trailer. This is trailer wall. This is my electrical connectors. No, no damage. No. No broken, no spliced, no chipped, sorry, metal breathing, whatever. This is my ear intakes, still present, not leaking. Right? Bulkhead. Explanations for bulkhead is the same as explanation for the side of the trailer. Okay, so we can unite them. We can go, this is my bulkhead and this is side of the trailer. No bulges, no holes. Remember, we explained back of the cap on the section B. The same thing. No bulges, no holes. Okay, no damages. Then we're going to explain trailer frame. Right? So, first, electrical connector and air intakes. Right? Then, Bulkhead. Uh, with bulkhead, we're doing frame. Same chassis we did. Longitudinal and cross members. Longitudinal and cross members. Okay. The same we did for the the constructor frame. The same here. No broken belts. So explanation the same basically. Okay, uh, once you explained frame, let's explain the box. Okay, box of the trailer will be all related. Floor, trailer floor. Right? Uh, we explained cross members and longitudinal here. And we're going to explain the box as a structure as well. So, no damage to the box. Okay, so explanation to the frame, uh, I mean to the side wall, bulkhead, side wall, tractor frame, which will include floor and box itself. I don't know how more complicated. You got it, right? So imagine like the structure, in a few words explaining the structure of the box. So then, you just keep going, you just explain bulkhead, this is the bulkhead, okay? Uh, you explained all this air intake and electrical connectors here, then you're going to the side of the trailer and you explain the side of the cell. Then box, then underneath of the trailer. Okay, here is apron. Remember? This is metal plate. It's apron. Um, just maybe five feet. It's apron. Okay, then it will be wooden planks. You can see them. Longitudinal and cross members, and you can feel the planks. This is trailer spot. Okay? After the metal shoot. Okay, so we explain no holes, no damage to the trailer floor. Okay? Then, we stay in here. What else we can, before leaving this, what else we can explain? Let's explain lights. Okay? We got two types of trailers. Short trailers and most Cases you will take your test, the short quality feeders. They don't have side turn signals. Okay? But, anyways, it's not gonna hurt. I will check my turn signals and clearance lights. Clearance light one here and one there. So, there is no clearance lights in the middle as well, but you have two clearance lights in the front. So, you will need to explain those are my clearance lights. Clearance function on or broken or missing and proper color. What is the proper color? Green, green and rosewood. Red and rear and rosewood. It's not amber, not red. It's red and rear and rosewood. Then you will explain turn signal. Those are my turn signal, which also. Actually, I'm not going to flash that. Four way emergency flashers. And they all clean and function on or broken or missing and the proper color. Color is the same. Red and rear and rosewood. Okay? Reflecting tape. 
covering 100% or 50% of the trailer. DOT reflective tape covering 50% of the trailer of proper covering. Right on that. We're going, what, what we're going to see here, landing gears. Just explain what you see. This is the best you know, way to do it. Best way to avoid you know, anything from being forgotten. Landing gears, what we explain on the landing gears. Landing gear structures, fully raised, landing gear pads, landing gear crank handle. Okay, so we did lights, which is clearance lights, turn signals, four way flashers. Now we're doing landing gears. Okay, after landing gears, we keep walking underneath of the bed. Usually on the long trailer, you can see those airlines and electrical hoses, right? Because you can move the tandem, depending on the position of the tandem, the closer the tandem, tandem the bigger this loop of this. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. On the short ones, you cannot move the tandem. Tandem is on a fixed position on the short trailers because they, they do couples and triples. So they were designed to do couples and triples. So that's why you can you know, adjust. So on them, Ear lights and electrical cables, they on the floor. So to see them, you need to look underneath of the trailer and they go you know, right there. But you still need to explain them. This is my electrical uh, cables and ear lights, right? Ear lights, not cracked or worn or leaking, right? Three words. The same as hoses, not cracked or not leaking, right? What is electrical cable? Remember electrical cables? Mm -hmm. uh, Chafed, spliced, very well. Now I'm showing metal weight. So all standards, all formulas that we learn. What's up there? Smile. What's up there? Everything was good? Yeah. I know, you're upset it's not ready, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I'm working on Saturday, so I didn't get a vote, right? So. <coughs> um, okay, so, and we explained that, then we moved to the tandem. Sorry, how do you explain the electrical cables? Uh, electrical cables? Yeah, how do you explain that? Uh, uh, clean, not broken, free, and... Spliced. Spliced, yes, yeah, spliced, and still break, not showing. Chuffed. Chat no splice to no show in the middle. Okay, um, so tandem. Because it's supposed to, and on, the, on their uh, internal materials, on their instructions, it says that steering needs, needs to explain a release arm or release button. But this is for trailers which adjustable is adjustable then no, more sure. hours, not ours. But still say there is no release arm. Otherwise I would check it. If it would be a right system I would check release button. Okay. Uh, now you're gonna check your tandem. What do we do for tandem? Let's say ball golf. Uh, well, first of all, we're checking on the tandem. You check the um, um, sliding mechanism, right? Radius button, radius locking pins. Okay. So let go tandem with all the components. Okay, release arm, locking pins. But next. All right, suspension system, right? And the first of suspension system is leaf spring. Well, then what, we, what else we checked in the case of B? Air right suspension, right? Right, what next? Yeah. Uh, shock absorber. Yeah. And the very last one? Yeah. Mounts. Yeah. Well, here on the short trailers, we are not gonna have this and this. They have only two options. You will explain only what you have. 
and expect that the examiner knows the equipment and understands that it's just not there, that's why you're not explaining it. But it happened two times already. And the examiner says, hey, uh, did he pass? No, he failed. Why? Uh, in, in case of section C. Why? Because it was a uh, lack of uh, points. So, lack of points means he didn't explain, he missed a lot of points. Okay, missed them. So too little, too little you know, for, for, for the tender. What do you mean specifically with that? Suspension system. What? It's only two in our trailers. Only two, right? You know what I mean, right? So, yeah, um, not all examiners are good enough with equipment and can understand and distinguish you know, one trailer from another. So they just gonna take it that as you didn't explain release button. Or you didn't explain in case of you know the release system, or you didn't explain the ERI suspension. It's not there, but you better explain it. Yeah, I know. Say there is no ERI suspension, but I would check it for that it's securely mounted, not damaged, not lit. Yeah. The same thing with shock absorber. Same explanation. There is no shock absorbers, ma'am, or sir. Look at me. There is no shock absorbers in, in this trailer. Otherwise, I would check them. They will score you, believe it or not. There's no shock absorber that but you would get this. So if there is no check. shock absorber, then you don't explain. You just It's risky, that's what I say. If you if you if you won't explain it, there is a risk that you will be lacking points by then. So we know exactly what type of trailer that we're gonna have, right? Yes. Yes. We know exactly. But the, uh, I cannot tell you 100% that personally the examiner will know equipment good enough to understand that there is no air suspension there. Just explain it anyways. Doesn't matter if it's there or not. You will say just, it's not here. But I would, if it would be here, if it was, I would check it, right? And give explanation. So you say Don't, that we don't, sorry. You said that we don't have air, uh, air ride suspension in the tender, but we can explain it if there is an air, uh, air ride suspension. We yeah. have to, you would go you just have to make check sure. it, right? So you just go, I don't have air ride suspension, but if I did, I would check to make sure it's securely mounted. It's secure and mounted, not damaged, not leaking. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's play this game. It's important, guys. It's important. I don't want any confusion on questions right before the test when you check in waiting for or the uh, examiner and asking me, hey Alex, last question, could you show me a right suspension on this trailer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's... Okay, what we got setting on the section A, mm -hmm. on the section A, out of this form, what we have? We have this might mount. be everything but air ride. But air ride suspension. Yeah, you got that three. Okay, we have lift spring, we have shock absorber, mounts. we got mounts. Okay. What else? Roma, what we got on section B out of these four? Leaf spring, air ride suspension, shock absorber, mounts. What we have? On the B, remember B it's a drive. It's a drive. Back of the drive. Mm. Of the drive. Uh. Uh, what we got there? Most of that, like leaf spring. Do we have leaf spring? Uh, yes. We do. Air ride suspension. Mm -hmm. Air ride podushki. Uh, yes. Shock absorber. Yes. Mount. Yes. So section B has everything. Most developed. Most of the new trailers got the same. Most. He said not the Yeah, yeah. So it's easy to. Even more sometimes. Even more. They got these brakes, self adjusted brakes, and stuff, some other stuff. Okay. Um, and uh, Kellen, on the trailer, what we got? All of this work? No. What we have? Leaf springs? Amounts. But please be prepared. You know that they are not there. 
but be ready to explain it anyways. It's not there. Look, look it's simple. It's simple tandem. There is only leaf spring and, and mount and something that holds it together. <laughs> Same about tandem. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tandem is similar. Tandem is similar. Okay. So, all the fleece that you have here, uh, you do it landing gears, landing gears are there, crank handle there, air hose is electrical lines there. Then, this is my tandem release arm and locking pins. You still need to explain that. On the short one, there is no tandem release arm and no locking pins because it's not adjustable. You can say it. it's not adjustable, otherwise, I have to check it for. You know, the, tandem, the blocking pins are not damaged and the tandem release arm. Heavy truck is different, guys. Heavy truck is different. So. Uh, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. We got this Cascadia 2 all last year before it got broken and I got rid of it. It's so much more stuff on it. <laughs> so much to explain. It was difficult to take test. Okay. Yeah, some of them go with these brakes, with this self-adjusted, with all this electronics around. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, most of my students, they were coming there and say, okay, this is my drum brakes. <laughs> this is my drum brakes. Mm -hmm. It's this brake with all these ideas, with all this electronics, you know, all this traction control and stuff. And self-adjusted, it comes with an angle, you know, and stuff. This is my and this is my slack adjuster and my push roll. There is no push roll to self adjusted. <laughs> so going to the middle, okay, be prepared to explain. I will show you on the equipment where is what, but it's easy to see. Simple. Trailer tandem is very simple. Only lift spring and what? Say it. Only lift springs and mounts. Lift springs and mounts. Leaf springs and mounts, yes. Which is the most developed? There is. Section. Section. Oh. Right? Um, you're not smiling as well. Something wrong, guys. You were somewhere together. <laughs> I know, I couldn't sleep good uh, this night because the wind is hitting my uh, bedroom's window. Oh. It's so freaking noisy, 18 miles per hour, you know, it's, it's a little <laughs> sound, you know, it's like a little drum or something. Okay. Questions? Where's the uh, restroom up here? What? Where's the restroom up here? Oh, that's a nice question. Let me show you. So, you keep going, you just did the, uh, the tandem. Uh, what else? It's similar to uh, section B. What else we need to do after we did brakes? Right? So, brake hoses, what else? Brake chambers. Brake chambers, what else? Slack adjusters and push rods and drum brakes. And wheels, right? See. Rims. What? Lug nuts. Lug nuts. What else? Hub wheels. Is it hub or it's axle? Hub. What do you think? Hub. More on the trailer? On the trailer. Yeah. Well, what is it? Able, what is it? Is it hub or axle? Axle. It's axle. Why is it axle? What is the difference between axle and hub? Because 
uh, it got like a hub on it, and the axles and like, an axle had an axle. Yeah, yeah. got yeah. <laughs> But what is the difference? Which one is bigger? Uh, Which one is look massive? Which one is is what axle. brings the torque? To axle, the axle is brand. big, yes, and delivering torque to the wheel. So it's big, like metal so plate like this, with bolts and seal underneath and big. This axle, where, where do we have axles? On the back of the truck. Yeah. Truck. On the back, back of the truck. On the, yeah, back the truck. on the back of the truck. On the trailer. Oh, okay. Trailer is that big. Oh. Trailer. When you pull it, it spins. Simple yeah. device. So it's a hub. It's a hub. Okay, yeah, so but you're only gonna have axles on the back. Of the yeah, what else here? Tires. The only axles you're gonna have are back of the truck. and caps. Back of the truck. I'm the truck. I'm sorry. Back of the truck. You get it? So, so yeah. Yes. You got the difference, right? Eh? Yeah. If you're looking from the top, this is your truck, right? This is the steer steer axle, right? Oh, this is your drive. This is your engine. From engine, it's going what? To your drive shaft. Right? Drive shaft. Huge bar which delivering torque. From the engine, from your transmission to your axles. Right? And it comes to your axle. Axle distributing the torque through the half axles, right, on the wheels. So, actually in the right, in the correct engineering language, axle is, is the device. It's, it's, you know, it's a mechanism. Okay. With oil, bearing, stars inside and stuff. So, it's much thicker than, it's bigger diameter than, you know, here. Here it's just one bearing, and that's it. Some small reservoir for the oil to lubricate, that's it, on the hub. But this one, okay, we're delivering torque to the vehicle. This one, bigger diameter and you know, a lot of going on inside. So which one is uh, steer? Is it half or axle? Axle. <laughs> no. After, after all, stop guessing. Please understand. Which one? You said which one is the uh, steer? You want to the game, steer. Yes, yes. On the truck, this wheel. Steer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this wheel. Yeah. Uh, does your engine deliver torque on this one? Does it spin because of the engine or, or just freely because the truck goes? Because of the engine. No. Engine delivers torque over here on the drive. Through the axles. Through the, yeah, through the axles. That's why it's axles. So these two are axles. This one is half, it's smaller one. And on the trailer. What this is? Oh. It's half. <coughs> because trailer just roll. Yeah, no See, no torque. No torque on the wheels, eh? Yeah, so engine has nothing to do with that. No direction, just a Another 25 tons of traction. No, it's half. No, don't get confused. On the slang, mm -hmm. we say all this ax ax mm -hmm. on the slang. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If somebody will ask you, or cops will stop you on the tracks, on the way station, and say, hey, you overloading on the trailer axle. Engineeringly, it's, it's wrong, like from a few points. First of all, it's not one axle, it's two axle. Second, it's half, it's not axle. But on the slam, they say. Well, axle is a small thing. Yes, yes, yes. Axle means. From the standpoint of from the point of uh, scales, mm -hmm. of point of generally saying about it. Okay. So, drag from the point of payload, for example, right? 
each mobile steer two drives, two trailers. Those all axles from the point of pedal, the charging you per axle. But this is not axle from the point of engineering, technician. Technically speaking, it's not axles, only two axles. And this is important. They just keep failing people from not knowing the difference between axles. I have a question. Sure. Is there any, every time where there's tandems, where there's one where they don't put port to both of them? Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. On the cheaper trucks, it's only on the second axle. That's how it counts. Okay? If you know the scale or you, whatever, you know, that's how it counts. Axle number one, it's axle on the slant. It's not axle, it's hub, right? But Excel number one, two, three, four, five. Five axles total. Sometimes on the most of the trucks, they got two dry shafts. The long one, which comes to the second axle, right? And the shorter one, which going to the third. So three of them. So it's 18, how do they say it? 18 by, by, by eight. <laughs> so eight wheels drive, right, in this case. Sometimes on the cheaper track, there is no this small drive shaft. So it's there just for weight distribution. But all the torque comes here. Okay, so it just depends on the configuration. Um, but in most cases, it's these two axles drive or just one axle. But yes, it's possible. You can see it by how, the, how can you know which, which axle drives. You look at the look, axle. Yeah, uh, this is first, where you go. Or look from the top and see if there is a drive shaft coming. Okay, and axle itself, it's a heavy, it's like huge piece of metal, solid, right? There is a reservoir inside with all this mechanism and stuff when you can replace the oil. There is a drainage, you know, bolt, there is a cap and stuff, so you can add it. Side glass sometimes, or, you know, tip stick. So it's a device, you know, and it's, you know, half ton, of course. How do they examine you? I don't know, it's actually in the end, yeah? Uh-huh. Most likely, the way I can see, you know, and plus, you know, mm -hmm. mostly, you know, you know, you know, Oh, good question. So Vlad asked, how do you do, let's say you need to explain Excel seal, right? Do you need to explain one Excel seal or you need to explain two of them one by one? Or you need to go around and explain all four or whatever? No. You're doing it on one side, an example of one, one piece. If we're talking about Excel or hub seal, we're doing it just once. This is my hub seal, okay? Yeah, this is the on our trailer is only one. It's only one. Mm -hmm. one but uh, anyways, this is my hub seal. You're not going around, you're not to explain it all that. If it happened just once, a moment you are ready. Examiner just staying with clipboard doing something. Okay, but uh, you explaining me here, but you got more brake chambers, right? And steering plus, a former military aviation technician. So. <laughs> he was complaining all the time. I can disassemble this shit in no time, but I cannot learn in a street. <laughs> and he, sa he said, okay, yeah, I'm just uh, giving a presentation explaining how I will explore, you know, uh, check my entire contract. Of course, in real life, I will go around and check every single brain channel. Okay. And uh, it's very unlikely it's going to happen, but be prepared. Any stupid question, smart. Remember, this is your presentation. You need to stop some kind of, not connection, but be nice, smile, you know, eye contact, whatever. Most of, you know, well, well, humans, well, but most examiners, they pay very good attention. They can, you know, they listen to you, they check in, you know, this you know, check boxes and stuff. And, but make sure that examiner here that you just said. Don't speak too quickly. Give them chance to put it on the paper, okay? That's important. 
by the time an examiner was looking at the proper checkbox on the paper, maybe you explained another three components. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. So make sure, try to just okay, smile, be nice. No, no way, no need to argue or whatever. So never, never go. No. Okay, um, and one more thing I want to say it again. Um, once your pre tape inspection is finished, it's done, you're done. That concludes my uh, pre tape inspection. Examiner can ask you, or can say, okay, it's pass, or can ask a question. Is there anything else that you want to add? Is there anything else? In most cases, if you hear, is there anything else, probably you're lacking points. You missed something, so you need to remember. And, and you got the second chance. You can uh, just think through it, blow your eyes, think through it, your presentation, what you could miss. And you can say, okay, well, it was, uh, I don't know, whatever it is, water pump, water pump belt, right? or, you know, coolant or deep stick or whatever, and keep, you know, just say it. And that counts. That counts. Okay, I got a very interesting story. One of my students, um, he's done with his pre tape and he got two examiners. Two. Well, one examiner and another trainee. <laughs> so he got two. Yeah, there was trainee and okay. later by examiner. And um, once he finished, they just stepped aside and they were comparing their results. And usually when they do this, if they, they just uh, realize that it's no boss, so he's lucky for it. And my students are sitting, sitting in a cab, just thinking what he could miss, just going, looking through the passenger window, hey guys, I forgot butt spacing. <laughs> no foreign objects, no comment and touch. They look at each other, okay, it's passed. <laughs> so you, you can do this, okay? You can, you can save your test, just think, just go through it. Remember what you could miss. But it's good for the pretty, for sections, for coupling, for intent. In case of brakes, can we do this? Can we say, hey, look, I forgot to release my brakes. Can it help? No. no. In case of brakes, right, what you need to do? You need to say, I messed up on this. I didn't do this. The major mistakes is failing to build up pressure for brakes, for example, or failing to cut the engine off and put it in accessory, or failing to release the brakes. In most cases, 90% of uh, If you did any of this, you're just saying, I, I did wrong, this, that, or that, I'm going to prefer, don't ask, don't ask exam. I'm going to perform my brake test again, only brake, only air brake per section, not entire proper trip, please. Only air brakes. Build up the pressure and start doing it again. Don't even ask. Just declare and do it again. Okay, don't even ask. If you ask, they can say, oh, well, I can time. No, 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 you're done. But today you need to respect. No, say, I'm doing my air brake again. Okay? So, we did wheels. What else do they have here to do? It's very similar to section B. Go to the back of the trailer? Yeah. Now it's back of the trailer. We did back of the truck, right? Mm -hmm. It's a little more because on the back of the trailer we have not just little shapes or clearance lights or whatever. We also have trailer doors, right? Hinges, door hinges, trailer doors. We got clearance lights, we got uh, reflective equipment, and we got uh, tail lights. Mm -hmm. right. So one by one, we're gonna do what? With those first papers. Clearance lights. Explanation symbol, right? What do we need to say as for color? This is back of the trailer. Oh, no. Anyways, yeah. uh -oh. no, don't, don't, don't even. I don't know. I know any doubt. It's red it's on the rear and what else? The same thing you did on the section A, right? You, you don't see, you can't see what's going on in the back, but you say it's red on the rear and else. That's what you say for the clearance lights. 
this is my trailer door. You open, latch is broken. Hinges, uh, there is no hinges on our trailer, so roll it door. What it is, roll it up, roll it down. Again, it's working properly, open, slash properly. Okay, so thanks. Um, Two little shapes, right? Reflecting space. Reflecting tapes. The same thing, 12 inch, both vertical horizontal, proper color. Mm -hmm. What else? Yeah, you the uh, DOT? Uh, DOT bumper. The DOT bumper is DOT bumper. Not broken, not cracked but not broken, uh, covered with uh, reflective tape. Um, now, lights, tail lights. Okay, yeah, let's start. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, but it's interesting since I was. Uh, doors, um, what else? Two L's, okay, and duty bumper. Now lights, and just imagine lights in the trailer, okay? On the truck, we got just two or three, one of them was reverse light, right? On the trailer, we got four. So the explanation, I would give, these are my tail lights, which also function the same thing as you did for the turn signal. Turn signals, forward flashers, um, red lights. Okay. Uh, in some cases, you can just, okay, please come and touch light, which uh, you know, function as brake, brake light. Do you have any idea which one is brake light? Probably the one on the outside. You think this one breaks? Okay, so. what do you think? Is it break or this one break? Which one break? Mm -hmm. Is it left and right or? So this is couples. Couple on the left, two it's lights on the left side. You it's see it's it's inside. Right. And you see all of the brake lights. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. All of them tail lights. So all of them. Tail lights. Now these two brake lights and these two turn signals and four waves. Sometimes they ask you, okay, come and touch. But initially try to get explanation. Those four my tail lights, which also function, blah blah blah. Okay, the clean and functional, right? None are broken or missing. Get a proper color, it's. Uh -uh. Oh, no, this no. is an exception. No, not red and rear amber elsewhere. Tail light, there is no tail lights elsewhere. Oh, <laughs> tail lights, this is red. Oh, red. Rear, yeah. This is only situation here and on the back of the truck, as you say, red. Questions? No questions, good. Okay. What else? We need to do. Who will tell me what is that that we still need to look at? Oh, what flaps? Not flaps, it's flash guards. There are flash guard guards as well. Not in all situations, but sometimes. So my flaps. Yeah. Okay. Legal links, no tears, no freight. So, mat flaps and splash guards. Nothing too complicated. So, what is new here? Uh, we did electrical connector saving things in section B, so we know the exploration and everything, right? This one stays the same. Bulkhead and trailer sidewall. Uh, explanation, yeah, name and point different, but the explanation is the same as back of the car. Right? So it's taken from the, okay, floor, box, uh, but frame. Frame is uh, from section B, right? The same frame, longitudinal, cross members, no broken valves, taken from the section B. Okay, light, taken from any other section. Well, landing gears, standard. 
something in the this is specific. Only this is specific. Everything else and those uh, trailer doors. Other than that, you see how little of new stuff here. Just new order of it. Everything else is you know how to do it, you did it before, you know explanations. Easiest for it. Easiest, easiest, sir. So we're doing section A, B, and C, there's tires on all of them. We just do tires yeah. over and over. Yeah, yeah. If you do D, if you do D, for example, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing A, you explain tires, okay, it's my steer tire, evenly worn thread. Um, the thread depth is 4 30 seconds here, 2 30 seconds elsewhere. No thread separation, no cast to the side wall, proper inflation, not leaking with times and times. Then you're going there, you're doing basically the same again 4 30 seconds there, 2 30 seconds here, but you will do mud spacing, right? And you will do mud flaps and so it's very good. That's only the difference. So this thing could be a lot faster if something's like that. Yeah. What is it? The test guy just wanted to screw with somebody. Uh -huh. The tire rim is going to be the same? Well, um, depending where. By instruction, you are not limiting the test tubes. But um, in one of our locations, they're limiting students on time. So you will have 2 hours and 30 minutes maximum to do entire scene. To the to the basic controls, and to the driving. Um, I would say if you pull any section A, B, C, so it's more than just enough of that. If you train it good, if you practice good, because we did it was an interesting situation. When I did section A, I did it in four minutes, I did it four minutes, ten seconds. So no explanation, just do it like, like students possible, take the test. You need four minutes, four minutes, one second. Um, one of my students, he came here, he did it in complete disorder, complete. He mixed everything. It was salad of brake, suspension, engine compartment, something else, you know, all together. He passed it because I couldn't fail him since he did all the components in, in crazy order, but all the components. It took 40 minutes, 10 times, 40 because he was sitting like there and trying to remember which one he missed. If you practice good, so six, seven minutes for section, like three minutes, two, three minutes for coupling, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes for in cap and break the entire process. So that, this is it. This is it, 20 minutes, 25 minutes for the pre -trip. Then like 30 minutes for maneuvers or less. And 45 minutes are out on the so, so it should be enough of time. Uh, and I saw it a million times when students you know pick section D and they, they did everything and they got enough of time. So it's every situation is different. Even if you will be lacking time, technically it's not fail. You didn't use any of your tries. It's not fail, you just need to come back again. Not a huge deal, so we'll just schedule it. We'll come tomorrow, we'll have to tomorrow and finish that. So, if you fail a trip trap, uh, or I mean, the parallel or the uh, offset, and you pass one of them, then you have to read both of them? or You missed our orientation class. <laughs> Everybody here knows the answer. <laughs> okay, I will go. Let's little quick. Let's remember how it works. Okay, three steps. Of your of your test, right? Or let's do it four. I mean, right? Check in. Once you checked in, three parts. Right? Pretty deep. Basic control skills, which is maneuvers, right? And roll. You got three chances. To pass it. Three chances. Once you check in, you're going to pre-trip. Once you finish doing pre-trip, basic controls, then roll, then you're getting CDM. Let's say scenario. You checked in, you're going to do pre-trip, you failed it once. Okay. 
you failed it twice, but then you passed. You're advancing to basic control skills and it resets, you have another three. Okay? If you failed it again, here, you're going all the way to check in. You're checking in again and starting all over again, ready? But let's say you passed. You're going to basic control skills. You failed it once, you failed it twice, you failed it three times. What do you think, Sayat, is going to happen? You can stay after that. <laughs> and I will explain. So, if you, you got three chances. Three chances, right? Yes. If you passed it, there is set on the next step. If you fail, let's say you failed it just once, okay? You failed it just once. Next time you come, what are you going to do? Where are you going to start? From, from the yeah, basic and all. Doing maneuvers again. Yes. Okay, you failed it. Third time you come, what are you going to start doing? Same. Same thing. Yeah. If you failed it third time, next time you come. You're back to. Boom. Boom. Then from checking back to pre-trip pre inspection, you will do all over again. If you passed it in your, um, I mean, you, you didn't use all three of your you know, chances. So you're advancing to road, and now it resets, you have three chances again. Okay? But if you fail the B, like, basically, Mm -hmm. Basic control skills. You have to do both of the, okay? because If you, you failed it just once? Yes, because, yeah, three times, because you have already passed the, the picture. If you failed it three times, even if you passed pre okay. you're going back and you're doing pre again. Remember Amandola? You know Amandola? I know, I know. The young guy, you don't know him. So, nobody failing road. Well, like nobody. It's so seldom. It should be something stupid. When people I'm, just I'm, rushing, not yielding, somebody on the left side, speeding or something, but it's very sad. Amanola failed it like, I, I don't like the name, but everybody knows it, and he, he was a okay, kid. You know, he failed it like six times. <laughs> so he was doing everything all over again three times. And every time he was passing pretty from the first attempt, basic and all skills like this. And then road, he was going too slowly through the intersection. Believe it or not, that was the reason for it. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Every time I, I'm know. teaching him, please, go ahead. He couldn't, I don't know, some, some safety was inside of him. He said. And there is, a, uh, here the, uh, in this area, there is one intersection when you're making left turn, and it's very short time. So he, you start, uh, you start doing left, but by the time it turns yellow, you kind of, your trailer is still pointed this way, and if you stop, you're blocking a couple lanes. Uh, of course, it's a matter what would happen, you know, and every time that happened. And sometimes he slowed down going through the intersection when it's green light, he slowed down to 10 miles per hour. But faster, faster, faster! <laughs> like, you gotta follow the speed, right? You follow the speed limit, you slow down for the intersection. But uh, we will talk about it. We will have uh, you know, another you know, class for roads and for maneuvers. For the two, and I will explain. Uh, but uh, how much you can slow down, guys, do you know? Let's say your posted speed limit is 45 pounds per hour. Or we're going to the 79, it's 55. Can go to less than uh, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, you adjusting your speed to go five miles per hour less than posted, so you're going 50, right? Normally, traveling, cruising. Now we see the traffic light, and we're going through the intersection. What do, you, what do you do? You need to slow down for the intersection to be able to watch for the cross traffic, to check your mirrors, right? Uh, you need to slow down. How much, what is the most you can slow down? 15. 15 below this. If you will go 40, it's still okay. If you go 39, 
this is violation, you're speeding, you can get a ticket for it. You cannot go more than 15 miles per hour slower than your posted speed limit. So the answer, how quick you need to go through the intersection, you're going 50, subtract another five, go, go 45. Go 10 miles per hour below your posted speed limit through the intersection. All attention to the traffic light. When you're approaching it, this is stop line. When you're approaching, you see it's like, I don't know, 25 feet, all right? So 25 feet is enough to stop vehicle from 45 miles, maybe 35 feet, right? To stop the vehicle smooth, more or less smooth from 45 miles per hour, right? So here is point of no return. I know, sounds dramatically. <laughs> but you will need to explain it. You will need to explain it. That was point of no return. I cannot stop now or I will block intersection if it goes. Right? Sounds like rocket science. <laughs> you will see it. It's easy to do. You Guys, you all experience drivers. You will need to just visually count this distance. This is okay until there. It's okay to stop it. From this point, I can, just verbalize it. I can stop now or I will block intersection. Try to verbalize everything. Okay, okay but it's, it's another, it's another class just. Okay. So questions, as for section C. Guys, shouldn't be any, right? You know what to do. You know the drill, you know, I, I, all of, all of explanation, 80% of explanations, you know already. Just trailer door, okay, we did driver door before. Open sluggish properly, my door inches, and there is no weather seal. We, we do not explain weather seal on the trailer door. All right, everything else, trailer like trailer door, like trailer, tractor door, what, what? Everything repeats from something, right? So just go work it. Uh, I explained the situation with um, tandems and with the suspension system, which is different, which is just less. Uh -huh. Another thing. So we finished section C and um, we finished duty bumper, we did um, mud flaps, right, and splash guards. There is some small little something there. On the short trailers, since short, well, short trailers are doubles and triples, so it can be two or three of them in a row, right? They have the coupling in the back, and we will need to explain it, okay? So there is, in the back, after all, in the very end, and keep it in mind, guys, when you will get ready, when you will learn the material, just make sure that you, you won't skip it. In the very back, it will be another air intakes and electrical connectors. And it will be pintle hitch. Pintle hitch, it's a hook. This is called Pintle hitch. Pintle hitch. It's a hook to connect trailer. Okay. That's all. Now, dimensional leaking, security model. And this explanation is as so. Okay, so make sure this is only unusual. Okay, now we got time and we got chance to work on coupling. Okay. What is coupling? One of mandatory items. The first mandatory item. So questions for C shouldn't be all single. Let's work in team and do coupling. You will start, uh, as always, you have to be like first. You volunteered to, uh, yeah. Uh, no, you appointed to, to volunteer. Coupling, chopper. What do you do first on the coupling? Chopping the wheels. Checking the wheels if they're not chopped. Let's say if you're doing section C, as yes, we do today, you know, you'll put the chops first. There you go. And then, uh, what is the catwalk? So chopping the uh, catwalk. Is it catwalk? What first? Camera. Lines, right? Air hoses and electrical line. 
What is explanation? Well. Air hoses and electrical. Air hoses. Air hoses and electrical lights. What is explanation? Uh, no cut, chased, or spliced. No, that's the cables. So, if it's air hoses, three words. Crack, more, and leaking. Crack, more, and leaking. Air hoses, right? Uh, what we checking? Uh, what else we checking from them? Glove hands, right? Seals. Glove hands. It's locked in place. Seal is in place. No leaking. Right? Good. Electrical cable. Shaved, Shaved spliced, okay. showing metal. Right. What is very important? About what is very important for electrical cable? What do we need to check? Remember, I told you they they connect it from this is tractor, this is trailer. There is a car, right? And not not only secure. There is a there is a tooth on the um, connector, and there is another tooth on the collar. So this is locking against each other. And it happens on the both ends, okay? So what you need to say, you need to say that it's securely locked from both ends. And do it with your hands, show them how it works. Show them this, locked on the collar. Okay, that's how it works. There is a spring on this cover. If you will, if you will drop it, if you will release it, it will just lock. Okay, and it's prevented from water and snow and dirt from being. So that they used. Sure. Okay. Well, that's what you see. No shaved, no shaved, no spliced, no showing, metal braid. And locked for explanation for them. Okay, questions, please, guys, do it. So, what next? Then we're doing the catwalk. Catwalk, explanation for the catwalk. It's catwalk? Yeah, the steps are already solid. And catwalk yeah. steps. So, the steps are solid and uh, clear from the debris. Uh -huh. They're, uh, they're secure mounted. Securely bolted. Bolted? Okay. That's kind of cherry on the pie, right? Yeah. So it's exactly from the handbook. Securely bolted. Everything securely mounted, but few of them securely striped. <laughs> there is a bolt and strike. Mm -hmm. And um, securely steps securely bolted, yes. Okay, uh, then what we do? What do we do? You did this. Next? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, there we go. There we go. Let's open it here. It'll be easier to remember. Okay. So, blood hands. You see the selected. Well, you see this teeth that I just explained. This is bolter. That's the bolt. From both ends of the same. You can't see it here, but there's not. Uh -huh. And now you're going here, right? Mm -hmm. Next to the hips wheel. Here it is. Okay. So what do we do? Mounting mm -hmm. bolts. But uh, we go straight. This is my mounting bolts. My mounting bolts, 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 my or not. That's it. Rama, what next? Uh, yeah, uh, field platform. Very good. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of explanation. So, mounting bolts. Now, platform. <coughs> and let's go. Yeah. Uh, any cracks or uh, break, uh, 
brakes, the platforms, the platforms, which support the field wheels keep playing. Okay, no damages to the platform structure. Okay, what next? So platform itself. What else? About platform. Do you remember? Yes. Locking pins or sliding mechanism. Locking pins. What else? Property position. Position. Very go. And one in the middle, in-right system of sliding mechanism. In-right system. Philip? Yes. Go explain platform. Oh, this, all these four things. Um, wheels sit flat? No, 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 no. This is fixed wheel platform. And in the beginning, before you, okay. yeah. Plate. Okay, plate. it's first, what next? Um, okay. My locking, my locking pins, fifth wheels, free of loose or missing pins in the slide me mechanics, mechanism, mechanism air. Uh, air suspension, so, yeah. Air ride is not linking and fifth wheel is positioned position properly so that the tractor frame would clear the landing gears during turns. Carlos, the next platform. Fifth um, wheel again? Yeah, yeah. Fifth wheel platform doesn't have any cracks or breaks in the platform structure which supports the fifth wheel skid plate. Okay, number one, you see it's four positions, four explanations in just platform. So platform, four positions. Platform structure, then second. Go ahead. My locking pins, three of loose or missing pins in the slide mechanism. Air. Yeah. Air ride is not leaking and fill wheel, fit wheel is positioned properly so that the tractor frame will clear the landing gears during the turns. Very good. So platform includes four positions, four things to explain, right? Platform structure, locking pins, air and suspension, and position for fiscal adjustment. Okay, Kellen, continue. My fifth wheel skid plate is properly lubricated and is securely mounted to the platform. The trailer is laying flat on the fifth wheel skid plate, which means no gap. Very good. Explanation is the same for fifth wheel skid plate and apron. Apron, you will say this is my apron, you will point the name apron, but explanation is the same. No gap between apron and fifth wheel skid plate and it's properly lubricated. No damage to such. Okay, Darius. Make sure the release arm is engaged and latched properly. Release arm. Very good. What next? Lock, uh, my locking jaws are fully raised, not fully closed, around the chain and not cracked. Very good. Locking jaws. What next? I My king pen, apron, and cap. My locking jaws hold kingpin in place. The kingpin is not bent or damaged in this lock. Okay. Salik, the last one. I uh, want to make sure that the visible part of the apron is not bent, cracked, or broken, and the trailer is lying flat on the fifth wheel skate plate. Okay. Now, don't forget, guys, when you finished here, let's say you're doing section A, B. You finished doing it uh, with uh, locking jaw, skin pin, and apron, right? We finished it. 
If it's section A and B, please explain it and say to examiner, because there is a coupling on the back of the trailer. I'm gonna check. Okay, so all the connectors there and pindle uh, hitch and everything for not uh, being damaged or not leaking. Explain it. If you're doing C, you will do it after you will finish doing the trailer. If you're doing coupling and it's A or B, just mention. And say there is another coupling on the back of the trailer, so I will check it as well. That's enough. Sometimes you say, okay, let's go there and you'll point. Okay, let's go. But if you will finish, that concludes my coupling. Happens a couple times that my guys are losing points for not saying anything about coupling on the back of the tape. Okay? Yep. Back of the trailer, that's what, that's what I said. On our trailers, the, the, they're short trailers. You said that we don't have the coupling. Uh, uh, or, uh, you said we don't have some of the things in the uh, trailer? No, we have coupling. What you're saying is that it's a short trailer, it's not like a long one like that. Yeah. So if they use it, they, as they use them, they put them together as two. They put a dog in there. So it's not going to be like the truck. Where it's up on the back of the cab, it's going to be in the bottom, but at the bottom of it. And so that's what he's saying. Let's check it here. Just, just above the duty bumper, it's here inside. You know, so it's it. another another air intakes and electrical connectors. So you, have to 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 that. you have to mention when you finish doing coupling for <coughs> section A and B. When you're doing trailer, you just see it. It's difficult to mix. Okay, and here I have another set of. Electrical connectors so there and there. Oh, yeah. I didn't catch that part. So when we do cup A and B on coupling, we have to go back to the trailer and check that just, out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can go back or you can just say it. And there is another set of coupling, okay. you know, on the back yeah. of the trailer. I will check it as well, the same way I did it here. And always, uh, usually they say, okay, sometimes, okay, no, show me. Okay. okay. On the long one, there's nothing like that. No, no other set of parent names. So. No, yeah. Yeah, no, two of those. There's the washroom. Mm -hmm. That'd be crazy. Two of those. Uh, you know, in Nebraska, Wyoming, <laughs> and like few states over there, Montana, I guess, they do doubles and triples of 53 feeders. <laughs> big, yeah, big, big, big trucks, and they, uh, they register for the weight, like 160 or more. Hey, those, uh, those turbine fans, though, you see those? I mean, the turbine uh, blades, hey, those shit's are long. Shit, I don't know how long it is. That's like three of them. It's gotta be. Those are big. Those are the highway. I saw a couple situations when some of them stuck on the rest area. And pilot truck just pulled him there. So he was just leaving the pilot truck. And now it was impossible for him to go back or forward. And they connected another truck and were trying to pull it back and cops were there to stop the truck. <laughs> you just don't know sometimes. They pay good, but as I said, if you, uh, you, you don't care about pay per mile. Per mile, maybe 50 bucks per mile. Okay. But you got just one roll like this uh, you know, in a year. Guys, you want a story? Okay, uh, you're tired. Just let, let's make a short break. About pay per mile, yesterday I, I explained, I just shared a little bit. So what, uh, what it's worth it to work for, what they need to look for, uh, how they need to look uh, to read your contracts and what to pay attention to on, on your contract when you're being hired by a transportation company. Uh, so, um, responsibility of the driver, okay? I know, company driver, not much, so. It's not my problem, it's his problem. But anyways, please be responsible. It's your life and it's your, you know, well, it's your license, you can lose it uh, easily. So one friend of mine, uh, I don't want to give you his name or something, but just funny story. He was doing Alaska loads. This is awesome, they pay outstanding. Even driver gets like for the road back and forth like 10, 15,000 bucks. They took a nice road trip? 
Huh? Ice road, ice road truck on the ice. Yeah, uh, it's ice because there is nothing there. Sometimes you're going like two, three days without seeing anybody. It's it's snow road. It's not ice road. It's snow. It's built in the snow. Yeah. So just truck move through it and made a hole so you just drive. What? Yeah, and you need to have very good truck. Needless to say, right? If, it, it, if, it, if your engine will stall, you're dead. <laughs> so, and uh, the guy was driving. And he was pulling something to Alaska, but from Alaska, he was getting fresh fish back. And he was going from Alaska back to States and then back to uh, Continental. And um, uh, he said, it was, I put uh, my soup in, in, in microwave. And it was time to just steer it. <laughs> he just left the truck, as is, unbelted himself. Was the engine on? Driving, running, running. He did it a million times before. He said, "This is this is no road, so um, you know there's a pass, you know, from the from the tires, so track cannot go anywhere." So he just put up. I don't know. He wasn't driving fast, like 30 miles per hour, or 25, or whatever. But it's crazy. <laughs> he went to the microwave to steer his soup. Track hit one wall, another wall, and flipped off. <laughs> With all his soup and stuff. <laughs> and he said, and I'm remembering myself, I'm leaning on the, on the snow, all these windows broken, oh everything God. is broken, and the fish, you know, jumping on the ice, saying, so, you know, oh shit, it's going to be a shitty day, you know? <laughs> But he got satellite radio, so he called for help in like hour or something, helicopters and stuff. They rescued him, and the, what is funny, so he, he didn't get hurt. He didn't get hurt. When I saw him a couple months after this, he said, no, I'm still doing these loads. He said, so what, how did you explain the ship? Because you should, you're supposed to lose your license. He said, no, I said that just truck was better control because of that. I didn't say that the, I was stealing my soup. So never steal the freaking soup. <laughs> Go saying, please, it's too dangerous, stuff like that. And a lot of bad things happen because of you know, irresponsibility, things that you did it before, and what, what can happen? No, no, it can get hard. Situation like that. But Alaska, for example, this lot can pay you easily, like 30,000 bucks round trip. Really? Yeah. So is it like all the way throughout the year, or is it like a certain time of the year? No, year round. Year round. If you're crazy enough to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy enough. But it pays good, good track. It's just 30,000 going to Alaska and yeah, coming no. back. On the fuel, you will spend, I don't know, expenses on this will be like 10,000 bucks, man. Everything else is yours. You're doing it once in a month. Once in a month. Yeah. How long does it take? It depends on the weather and stuff. But yeah. It's worth 5,000 months or 6,000 months. How many, how many miles is that through Canada? Through the Canada? Yeah. Two, three. Uh, we said 30,000? One month? Yeah, I do. It's nice little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. It's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Especially if you're in summer. Yeah, you're going out there. Well, yeah. So well, so so just imagine, so here in States, it's dangerous yeah, because yeah. it's a lot of deers, you know, crossing roads so you can feed them. Deer is a big animal. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, yeah. most cases, yeah. you're eating deer, it sits yeah. next to you on the passenger seat. You know? no, so <laughs> <laughs> now imagine it's a bear, it's a lask, it'll freeze me. Boom, <laughs> hello dude. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go and steal my, my soup, right? <laughs> you drive, I go. Yeah, that's crazy. But no, it's, it's, it's in there. No? And it's not like from Miami, right? It's from somewhere, Chicago or some other state. Yeah. Yeah, let me say A lot of interesting routes. Okay, guys, Mr. Abel, you sit in the very end. So I, always, I don't know if you fall asleep. If you be, uh, please be so kind and try to do the entire coupling. If you want to read, read. But try to do as much as you can from the heart. Oh, no, 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 no. Just imagine, today we are finishing the section portion. With just one uh, class left tomorrow for breaks and um, in time. Can we go outside? And then, yeah, then you will need to pre I need to pretest you here and then we go outside. So then we will sit down at home and learn what we did here. So please be active. Work here as much as possible. On the track, you will practice your presentation already. But you need to know what to say here. That's why guys are coming up.
Yeah. Right? Yeah. Love for you. Yeah. The past two things a little bit. Two. Yeah. I started yeah. after you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now, now we need to follow. Right. <laughs> He's Russian. So, so you, if you're Russian, 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 don't pass. Tomorrow at the same time? Huh? At the same time yeah. tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. It's on your email. Invitation. Uh, who did it? Uh, Roma did. Can I tell him? Mm -hmm. Roma saying yesterday, hey, your, your, you know, your invitation system is broken, something stupid, because you invited me for 9 p.m. I said, dude, I'm checking. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, oh, man, check what time set, the time zone set on your phone. So he got like Ukrainian time zone. <laughs> 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 why, why did you invite me you know, for, for 9 p.m.? That's funny. <laughs> and you started laughing first. <laughs> okay, well, let's go. So, thanks to Chuck. Very well. Yeah, I'm on a, on a air hoses, electric lines. Uh, as well as my emergency service. Oh. Emergency and service what? Logically, logically, logically. Try right. to remember, we spoke about it. Lines, right. airlines. Uh, how do, how are you gonna distinguish them? How to understand that this one is emergency, this one is service? What color? What color? Yeah, blue and red. Blue, what, what, uh, which one is blue? Blue is the service. Continue, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, then uh, my glad hands, glad hands, glad hands. Mm -hmm. are not leaking. They are not cut. Chat. 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 or worn. Chat. 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 are not sewn through. They are sealed, have good condition, locked in place. And not damaged and have no leaks. No leaks. Very go. What next? What is the steel? The steel braid is a R? Steel braid. It's a it's a wire, metal wire. Okay. So, uh, you imagine the electrical cable, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are wires. Yes. And there is insulation or insulation about, right? Yes. yes. And this insulation, so it's the base of it with this smaller wire, which can if it through means it's broken. So we need to replace it. Good okay, In my catwalk, uh, it's solid. I would go catwalk and catwalk steps. Okay, catwalk, okay. catwalk and catwalk steps. It's two different okay. positions on the on the on the checklist, right? Like yeah, chat. But explanation is the same. You can unite it to save a little bit of time. This is my catwalk and catwalk steps. So this is my catwalk and steps. It's solid. It's free of all objects. It's bolted on to the tractor frame. Yeah. Uh, Short explanation. All foreign objects can be bolted. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my mounting bolts. Very go. Well. Now you walk to the side of the trailer, the front part of the trailer, on the side of it, so you can see the fifth swing. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, it is not under mounting bolts, okay. Mounting bolts do not have any loose or missing uh, bracket, clamps. Okay, guys, uh, explanation is huge there. Don't use it, please. It's too much. It's in case if it's unusual, you know, mounting for the sliding mechanism. In our case, in most cases of semi-trucks, it's not loose or missing bolts or nuts. These brackets, clamps, all this shit, forget about it. No loose or missing bolts and nuts. So we can just write that down? Yes. This right here? Yeah, mounting bolts. Yeah. Don't do all of this. No, no loose yeah, brackets, you know, clamps. There's no clamps. Here, on this one particularly, there's no clamp. There's no brackets. On some of them, yes, but... Uh, I honestly, me, I never saw brackets and clamps in the mountain block. No loose, no brackets? No loose or missing no, bolts or nuts. No, 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 no loose or missing bolts or nuts. 
Facebook platform. Okay, I love this one. What for? Does not have any crack or loose or missing mounting brackets, clamps, bolts. What are you reading? You're reading mounting bolts again. Oh, I am. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm doing something else now. It's a little platform. I don't have cracks or breaks in the platform structure. There you go. Which supports the fit wheel. Skid plate. Skid plate. My locking pin fit wheel free of, of loose or missing pins in the side mechanism. Very good. Air. Right is not leaking and fit. Hey, all right, suspension number four, very good. All right, all right uh, system of sliding maintenance. All right, suspension. And fifth wheel is positioned <laughs> properly uh -huh. so that the tractor frame will clear the landing here during turns. Yes. So, four explanation for the platform. Four. Well, four has four. What else has four explanations? Drum brakes, for example. It's a man, it's huge. But make sure you're going to work towards it, right? So you see your show. You can do it and push it, you know? It's a real load. It also do it here. Oh, I'm joking. That's <laughs> in the show. My fifth wheel skid plate is properly lubricated and that it's securely mounted to the platform trailer is laying flat on the fifth wheel skip uh, plate, no gap. I am making sure that the release arm is in the engaging position and safety latch in place. Okay. Few words about this release arm. Engaged, okay, it's engaged means locking jaws locked around the kingpin. Safety latch is in place. There is no safety latch, remember I told you yesterday. So handle looks, if you look from above, handle looks like this. On the older trucks, it was safety latch, like real latch, like on the handle. And you need to disengage the safety before you, you pull it. On the new ones, there is no safety latch. It's just a piece of wire. But explain the safety latch if um, some examiner will ask you, okay, show the point on the safety latch. You will need to explain that on a newer mechanism, safety latch installed inside of the mechanism. Okay? Legs are not national tracking. No, no safety latch. No. I, last I've seen the safety latch was struck from 1995. That's all it was. Antique, antique, no more. No. Like globe pistol gun, no safety system. Mm -hmm. All safety system. Yeah, it's installed in the inside of the mechanism. Okay, let's go. I made sure that the release arm is engaged. And safety latch is engaged. Mm -hmm. My locking jaws are fully closed around the kingpin, not cracked, bent, or broken. Okay. Now, is the kingpin, apron, and gap? Wait, wait, wait. Kingpin first. Kingpin. My locking jaws hold kingpin in place and the kingpin is not bent or damaged and it's locked. Abel, remember what we need to do. If you want to get score, if you want to get credit for the kingpin, what do you need to do? Remind me. You see, sorry, what is it? You need to point, uh -huh. name, and give explanation, right? Point, mm -hmm. main, give explanation. Okay. So make sure we'll say, this is my kingpin and point. Oh, okay, so when I say apron, I'm gonna be like, this is my This is my, my apron. apron. I wanted to make sure it's visible. Part of apron is not bent, cracked or broken, and that the trailer is laying flat on a fifth wheel skip plate, no gap. Yeah. And this is my gap in the back of the trailer. My back of the trailer. Don't forget about it. You got another set. Go ahead. My my air hoses and the electrical lines, as well as emergency and service van hands, are not leaking. 
cut, chop, splice, or worn, steel braids is not shown through. They are sealed, have good conditions, locked in place, not damaged, and they have no leaks. Very good. Very good. It's very a little. Honestly, it's not much. How many? It's 15 inches. How many components? I guess yeah, about that. So easy to learn. But please do it because it's one of mandatory items. I hate you all do it no matter what. You're doing cuddling. You're doing cuddling in cabin breaks and something else. Who is next? Say it. Let's go. Oops. Try to do as much as you can from heart. Forget about it. Just put balls or nuts. Okay. And the mountain bolt will not have loose or missing bolts. Um, and both uh, effectively and the uh, slide mountain must be uh, solidly attached. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the first wheel platform is that uh, the kill that. There's too many other things here right there. Okay. Well, give me an explanation. Okay, it's still flat for Okay. If uh, it does not have any cracks or breaks in the platform, structure and the platform structure mm -hmm. which supports the fifth wheel, the skiss plate. Okay. No marking paint. Locking paints carefully, clear of wood or missing paint in the slide mechanism. Air ride is not leaking and fifth wheel is uh, positioned properly so that the tractor frame will clear the landing gears during turns. My fifth wheel skip plate okay. is properly located and uh, it is uh, securely mounted to the platform. Trailer is laying flat on the fifth wheel skate plate, no gap. Uh, making sure that the release arm is in the engage position and safety latch is in place. Mm -hmm. Make sh making sure that the release arm is in the uh, engage position and safety latch is in place. My locking jaws are fully closed around the king thing. Um, not crack, then forward. King thing, I own. My locking jaws, my locking jaws hold king thing in place, and the king thing is not bent for damage and is locked. I need to make sure that the available part of Everyone is not bent, cracked, or broken, and that the trailer is laying flat on the vertical <coughs> skip plate, no gap. And that's, that's it. Mm, not exactly, something else. Everything. 
Yeah. He has a different uh, sheet. Oh, okay. Mine is very complicated. Yours is different. Okay. No, no chances there. <laughs> Uh, you just finish this, so uh, I will. I will bring down the new one. So remember what yes, I said. The back of the trailer. Remember, there is another set of coupling. Electrical connections. Okay, remove the connection from the trailer. Check that paints are not damaged or missing. Reconnect the reconnect. Check that uh, it is properly connected. Go around to the engine. Pindle hitch. Pindle hitch, yeah. This is pindle hitch. It is securely mounted. It's not cracked, broken, or bent, or leaking. I don't have this in my I will, uh, that's what I said. I will bring down the new one for it. This is version for the long one. The long range. Let's go. Oh, Guys, try to, to do as much as you can uh, from her so we can, I can help you. We can fix it. Alright, so the airlines, uh, they're not they're cutting shape, torn, not leaking. Uh, black hands, they're red. Red is where you see blue surge. Black hands are sealed, not cut, shape, leaking, torn. The last line is not cut, shape. Spliced and not worn to the still gray shine. Um, go to my catwalk. You, you go, you go. Yeah, so far, so good. Go to my catwalk. Uh, catwalk steps are clean, clear of. of uh, catwalk green. and catwalk steps. Catwalk so and catwalk steps are clean, clean and clear of any debris. Um, sec securely mounted to the frame. Um, then we have the mounting bolts. They're not loose or missing. Um, uh, bolts or nuts? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not missing any bolts or nuts. Oh, you're actually, you're trying to go that. brackets and stuff. Forget about those brackets, though. Continue. Yeah. Yeah. to the frame and the fifth wheel. Platform. Platform. Remember what the did for platform. It has huge explanation. I'm letting it for explanation basically. Alright. Alright, the fifth wheel has no cracks, leaks, it's not damaged. So you do explanation for fifth wheel structure. Okay, then you will explain. Let me put it one more time on the on the board. Can I look at that truck? I don't know. A little yeah, bit sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> So we got the fifth wheel structure. We got the plate. It's secure, it's not missing any bolts. The mounting the mounting holes are clean and clear. Look, platform, you did mounting bolts. Leave them all. Try to do it without paper. Let's let's yeah, try yeah. to record it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no platform. Platform has four explanations. Okay. Platform structure. No damages, no cracks, no breaks, right? Okay, it was number one, platform structure. Second, locking pins, not in place, no, no bend, no broken. A right mechanism, which you know drives the locking pins. Not leaking, not damaged. Number three. And number four is adjustment of position. So my fifth will position, so uh, my wheels will clear landing gears during the turns. Total four. So once again, platform structure. What is second? Remember, David. 
Let's form structure first, second. Is the air ride? Uh, Let's go. The sliding mechanism. Locking, or locking, locking the pins of sliding mechanism. And now, air raid of sliding mechanism. Air raid system of sliding mechanism. And last one? Positioning. Positioning. Guys, please. It's easy to remember. Easy, easy to remember. <laughs> easy to remember. Four things. Position. Okay, so platform, platform pins, blocking pins, a right of sliding mechanism, and position. Let's go, the next. There is the next, next. Uh -oh. the platform. After the platform. Basically, you're going, you're going from the bottom, you're going up. You explain mounting bolts, right? You explain platform with all this crap, mm -hmm. right? You're going up. This is fifth wheel skid plate. So basically, the entire thing, remember, looking from the top, but going, um, you know, yeah, yeah so the king pin going inside of this gap. There is a small tree, the locking jaws, and all this. So this is the fifth wheel. The upper surface of the fifth wheel called fifth wheel skid plates. Fifth wheel skid plate, okay? The apron of the trailer is working, leaning on it, okay? And you will need to check that it's not bent, so it won't, it's not gonna be cut, and it's proper a little bit. They will give the same explanation twice, once for, what, for skid plate, and one more time for the trailer's aim, the same thing. Once you will say, this is my fifth wall skid plate, blah, 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 blah. This is my apron, the same thing. Okay. Good. Right. No. All right, so this is my fifth wall skid plate. It is properly lubricated, mounted to the platform. Trailer's lying flat on the, on the fifth wall skid plate. There's no gap. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure the release arm is engaged and latched safely. And my locking jaws are in, are fully closed around the key. Oh. Okay. What next? Then you got the, so then you got the key pin, security. The locking jaws are all keeping in place. It's securely locked. Make sure there's no visible gap. It's laying flat. Uh, then, oh, and then the back of the trailer, there's no air holes that are clean, clear, not cut, and uh, clear. Very good. Very good. Do it at least a couple times a day. Try to remember. Whatever you do, close your eyes and try to remember. What am I checking? No explanations yet. Just try to remember. We need to build up the skeleton first, right? And then grow, grow the meat on it. Skeleton is point and main. So, Kelvin, if you do not mind, could you just list the, the components with the stuff? No explanation, just name it. So, so air hoses and mm -hmm. service lines. Okay, no, lines. not service so electrical lines. With the one with the flat hands? Yep, yep. Is that part of the skeleton or is that explanation? Uh, it's explanation for, you know, for the air hoses. Okay. Air hoses go with flat hands. But so the next is catwalk and steps. Catwalk and steps, catwalk, catwalk steps, also, but next. Mounting bolts. Mounting bolts, where you go? Fifth wheel platform. Fifth wheel platform. Oh, that's wheel platform, yep. Uh, so the skid plates next, or the skid plate? Yeah, because the four is explanation for the platform. Yeah. Okay. So skid plate, skid plate. Then kingpin, uh, apron, and yeah. Kingpin, apron. Yeah. Uh, gap is a part of explanation okay. for skid plate and for apron. Um, something here. So, skid plate after skid plate. 
try to remember, don't think we will there. Imagine that the fifth wheel inside. What you see, what you see from this side, release arm. Release arm and uh, release arm. And when you remember about release arm, okay, what is it engaging, disengaging? Locking jobs. Okay, when you go locking jobs, locking jobs, you're thinking what locking jobs are going to lock around? Kingpin. Kingpin is mounted to Abram. Well, impossible to, to miss anything. So. One falls another. Once you did Abram, back of the trailer, just say that. There is another set of coupling in the back of the trailer, so. Yeah. Okay. Questions? No questions. <laughs> Can you do it? Me? Not you, sit there. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Skeletons go. Me. Yes. Um, yes. Air boxes. And? Uh, electrical connections. Electrical lines. lines. Connectors, when we're doing connectors. Connectors, we're doing on the middle sections. A, or no, not A, B or C, right? Then it's connectors. One can set up connectors on the tractor, another on the tractor. But now we're doing, yeah. Air hoses <coughs> and electrical lights. What next? Lamp hands. Lamp hands are the part of air hoses. Um, catwalk and catwalk steps. Very good. Catwalk, catwalk steps. Awesome. Mounting bolts. Or mounting bolts. Good. Agree. Um, Pick with a platform. Platform. It's funny, just travel from bottom up. So, if it's real platform, what's the uh, big wheel skip plate? Skip plate. You see the skip plate. What else on the side? The release arm. Release arm. Release arm. What is it releasing actually? What the release arm? Mechanism? Or? No, no. It's engaging, disengaging. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Locking jump. <laughs> Locking jump. Okay, release arm, locking jaw. Locking jaws is being locked around the kingpin. The kingpin. The next kingpin. And kingpin is mounted to the apron. And we finish our coupling by explaining it. Another set of. Oh, that we have another set of uh, uh, coupling on the back. Uh, on the back of the trailer. Back of the trailer. On the back of the trailer, you will have, if you look from the back, it will be. Uh, I mean, two air intakes plus electrical socket with the cover, right? And here it will be pintle hitch. Pintle hitch, if you look from the side, it looks like that. It's basically a hook. So, to the pintle hitch, they connecting. Uh, a couple, how do you call it? Carriage. Carriage. It's a small carriage with one set of wheels. And on this carriage. A dolly. How do you call it? A dolly. Dolly, exactly. Should I forgot the word? And on the dolly, you connecting, there is another fifth wheel on the dolly. And then you connect trailer, the, the second or third trailer. Okay, but there is a pindle hitch on the, on the back of the fish. 
It would be awesome to connect one TV to another directly, but in this case, uh, I mean, uh, one extra, one extra extra, right? But when I see when people is an axle or a hub having fun, having fun with uh, you know uh, with these uh, you know, dollies hooking and hooking, you know when you bring when you're delivering something to the uh, distributor, you know you got just long trailer back in there and go sleep, you know when you see those people with doubles and triples, oh man, <laughs> so, a lot of plenty of stuff to do. Right? <laughs> just, Disconnect all of them, then one by one put in the in the doors, just move, park, take this one, and then move, park, and then another one. Then hook them in proper order again with all these dollies and stuff. Okay. Yeah, remember, uh, Excel and hub. It's a long story. On the slab, all of them are Excels, right? <laughs> but in fact, only on the drive on the track is a pro Excel. Very good. Who's next? Man? You wanna try? Or if you wipe it out. So only name it the components, right? Air hose and electric electrical lines. Lines, very good. Air hoses, electrical lines. Done. Next. Catwalk and step. And catwalk steps. Awesome. Catwalk and catwalk steps. Next. And the fifth wheel platform? Uh, before fifth wheel platform. Remember, you're doing it from the bottom going up. So, first thing you see. Look at the picture. Mounting bolts. Mounting bolts first. Now, what else? And fifth wheel platform. Awesome. Platform. After platform. Try to do it from heart. Try to do it from heart. I know you can do it. Uh, after platform, not exactly, not yet. It will be release arm, but something for it. Platform, what platform supports? Fifth wheel, remember upper surface of the fifth wheel, fifth wheel skip plate. Fifth wheel skip plate. Skip, skip, skip. Fifth wheel skip plate, skip plate. Then release arm. After release arm. And now sing this way. Release arm. What is it releasing? Uh, Locking jaw. Locking jaw. Locking jaw. Awesome. Locking jaw. Okay. Locking jaw is being locked around. Kingpin. Awesome. Kingpin. It's easy this way, right? And kingpin is mounted. Oh, kingpin upper. Abram, Abram, and that would conclude it, but we got double trailers, so you need to explain that there is another set of coupling, set of coupling. in the back of the trailer, okay. which is, uh, there are even glad hands, but those are, you know, like, to <coughs> lock it, lock it from making it out. So, Metal blockheads <coughs> and electrical, you know, seven holes, you know, electrical block and people reach. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Not this complicated. Okay. Yeah, next, what? <laughs> Skeleton. Skeleton. Uh, easy. Air force is electric line. Very good. Cat walks and steps. Cat, yeah, cat walk steps. <laughs> Mounting bolts. Three, uh, five feet of platform. Platform. And um, five wheel. Uh, Fifth wheel what? Uh, skip plate. It will skip plate. Mm. What form of the speed right now? No, no, it's it's explanation. Skip plate, release arms. Release arm. Locking jaws. Locking jaws. 
If you keep skipping or missing stuff, forget about explanation. Go and work on the skeleton. Put it on the paper. If, if you home alone, <laughs> put it on the paper. Then compare with with your materials. Okay, okay. I skip this. Do it again until I don't know. Air forces, electrical lines. Okay. Get work and steps. Steps. Mountain bolts. Oh, they try to do, do it from heart. For climate is the right thing. No, no, no. Fifth wheel platform. Platform. Fifth wheel skid plate. Skid plate. Uh, release arm. Release arm. Uh, locking jaws. Locking jaws. Kick pin, kin pin, kin pin, and it run. Okay, in the very end, what we do? Mm -hmm. Get no another set of on the back of the trailer. Where is the side of the trailer? No, mm -hmm. no, coupling. Mm -hmm. All those air intakes, electrical, on socket, and the pin switch. Mm -hmm. If you want to explain. That. Okay, very good. Okay, what you did, right? Uh, air holes. Air holes. Electrical lines. Electrical lines. Camo, camo, steps. Very good. Easy yeah. for you to do. Mounting bolts. Fifth bullet. Fifth bullet. Platform. Platform. Yeah. Platform. And then, uh, <laughs> the picture. Uh, and then, uh, mountain bolts. Yeah, got the mountain bolts. Yeah, platform. Yeah, uh, uh -huh. uh, Okay, we call it fixed well skid plate. Yeah, awesome deal. Yeah, okay. And then, uh, release arm. Release arm. Uh, and now just keep sinking. After oh, release are what is it releasing and then go we'll the chain. Uh, the locking jaws. <laughs> and then the kingpin to the apron. Locking jaws. So kingpin to the apron. apron. And then uh, you go you go back to the coupling. Yep. Or the back of the trailer. So back of the trailer. The trailer. Yeah. 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 Very good. Guys. I will let you go. It's almost there. Just last thing. Let's work. Last time in the, in the, in the, in the team. Let's work and do explanation for the platform. It's uh, lubricated. Not even explanation. Give me four parts. Just name. What is going to be four parts of this explanation? The actual platform. So first, platform. Nice. For the platform, what is it? Oh, um, first for the platform. Oh, it's not when you bring oh, the boats. The boats. No, platform, remember, platform itself, yeah, sure. not oh, other right. components. Mounting bolts, it's separate right. components. It's a locking job. It's it's separate. Cool. Explanation. It's, it's part of the name of it. What I want to hear is third part of explanation for the platform. It's platform structure. Oh, the... Second. Second, locking pins, very good. Locking pins, number three. Air right, air right system of the sliding mechanism. Air right. And number four, position. Okay, work on this one. A long explanation for the platform. So, what next? Tomorrow we're doing the last class, which will be breaks and uh, in-cabin breaks. Okay? 
This is last of theory. After I will pretest you, we will do one, two more classes, which will be uh, theory for maneuvers. We will learn the steps for each one. Steps. Go right, thing, go right, looking left, whatever you do, stop here, go to the other side, etc. Easy a little bit. Okay, and the last one will be for driving. You're familiar more or less with how to read signs, what you say, how to analyze it, what you pay attention to. And then we go, I'm retesting here, and we go to the fun part. And then test, and we fire it. Uh, three weeks? Huh? Uh, depending on you. If you will, like I'll be testing on everything this week, next week, um, Monday, Tuesday, probably classes, other weekdays, driving, okay. another week, maybe driving. That's it. Okay, so about two weeks. Two? Yes, yeah, five weeks. Okay, good. So it's on you. I'm not, I'm not going to rush you out for when you're learning, but if you need to attend the town for another class, if you buy more time in your coupling or whatever, C, B, or A, or whatever, just let me know. Well, next group is much less. Next, next group is like three or four people maximum. Oh, yeah, it wasn't that many in there, isn't there? Yeah, because of the holidays, you know, all the events. January the 1st, hey, let's get on with such. Okay, yeah, pretty much it for today. Thank you very much for questioning this. Do you have any